गैस मैंने मिस विवेक एंड दिस इज़ द सेकेंड वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल इन दिस सीरीज औरकल इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन इन दिस वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट डुअल टेबल इन औरकल गैस आई हैव अ क्विक रिक्वेस्ट इफ यू हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल प्लीज गो एट एंड डू इट नाउ सो नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट वॉट इज डुअल टेबल इन औरकल एंड वॉट एग्जैक्टली आर इट्स एडवांटेजेस डुअल टेबल इज अ स्पेशल वन रो वन कॉलम टेबल विच इज प्रेजेंट बाय डिफॉल्ट इन दी औरकल इंस्टॉलेशन सो इट्स एक्चुअली प्रेजेंट इन दी सिस स्कीम एंड ऑल द यूजर्स हु हैव एक्सेस टू दैट पर्टिकुलर औरकल डेटा बेस कैन गो हेड एंड डायरेक्टली एक्सेस दिस डुअल टेबल यूजिंग सेलेक्ट स्टार्ट फ्रॉम डुअल यू डोंट हैव टू स्पेसिफाई दिस स्कीम आई एम एक्सप्रेसिटली वॉट एग्जैक्टली इज द पर्पज ऑफ दिस टेबल सो दिस टेबल ऑलवेज रिटर्न अ सिंगल रो आई कैन गो हेड एंड रिट्राइव द वैल्यू ऑफ सम ऑफ माई सूडो कॉलम्स यूजिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर टेबल guys at this moment i want to tell you that dual table is very important in oracle and i use it extensively in my projects almost on a daily basis it actually provides me two main advantages and i will share both of those advantages why i use it in my projects in a moment so let's go ahead and switch to our sql developer to see dual table in action so as i mentioned that dual table is a single row single column table and the name of the column that it has is dummy and the value it contains is x so if you see when i ran select all from dual i got the output x in the column dummy and if i go ahead and describe my dual table it will show me that it has a single column dummy which is of varchar2 type now why do we actually require this dual table so there are certain pseudo columns or certain scenarios where i want to retrieve a value or compute something and these columns don't actually belong to a physical table in that case dual table act as a convenience table to retrieve those value for example if i try to execute select 2 plus 2 oracle is going to give me a compilation error saying that from keyword not found where expected so whenever i go ahead and write a select statement by default oracle expects a from clause to be attached to it it expects that select value to be fetched from a table so here i can go ahead and use my dual table if i go ahead and run it it's going to give me the required value similarly i can use multiple pseudo columns like i'm selecting today's date today is 1st february so it's it retrieved me that particular value i can go ahead and combine this with other oracle functions for example here i've used this date uh, i've used trunk on top of that so it's giving me this particular value i can retrieve the value of the user right now i'm using hr so if i go ahead and run it it's going to give me the value hr i can retrieve the ip of the system from which the user has logged in using this particular statement again i'm using dual table uh, as again i'm using dual table as my convenience table here I'm using this particular function sys underscore guid, which is going to return unique value every time I'm going to run this statement. It's going to return unique value. And guys, I use all these functions extensively in my projects for different reasons. This particular command down here, it's going to retrieve uh, the host on which the Oracle server is running. So right now I'm running this server on my Dell laptop. It's going to give give me that particular value. Let's see an example how exactly I use it in my projects. So I am creating here a test table that has four columns: ID, name, added by, and added on. So now this table will be inserted and updated by multiple table, and I want to capture who exactly modified this particular table and on what date. So what I have done is I have created a trigger on this particular table that before inserting or updating this particular table. go ahead and populate this value now what exactly i've done here is as soon as the record will be inserted or updated it will go ahead and capture the user who is trying to modify that particular table and it's going to insert that value in this particular variable and that particular user value will be passed to my row let's see how it will actually function so i will go ahead and create my trigger now the trigger has been created now i will go ahead and try to insert the value in my table test dual i inserted this particular value and though i have specified added by and added on as null when i go ahead and query this it's going to specify the user who inserted the value i have logged in through hr so hr has inserted the value and it was added on 1st feb 18 
so this is one of the basic usage i use it extensively in my triggers procedure and function for auditing or for retrieving values or the way you just saw here so if i have to fetch the value of a pseudo column in one of my pl sql block i can go ahead and use dual table to retrieve that particular value this is one of the usage that most of the people know and they use it extensively in their projects on a daily basis i will show you another use case of dual table that i use extensively in my projects in order to generate test data so let's say i have a product table with three columns the first column is product id the second column is the amount of the product and the third column is product code now in my test environment i want to generate random data for this particular table let's say i want to generate 10000 rows what i personally do in my projects is i use this particular package dbms underscore random in order to generate random integers and random strings and i use it with my dual table so right now if i go ahead and run this particular query i will get a single row as i mentioned initially every time you try to select something from your dual table it's going to return a single row but what i'm going to do here is i'm going to take the advantage of hierarchical queries in order to generate as many rows as i want and if you don't understand how hierarchy query works don't worry about it i'm making a separate tutorial on that you can refer that in detail but here if i have to generate a million rows using dual table i will just write connect by level less than equals to 1 million and if i go ahead and run this it's going to generate million rows for me with three columns so just to quickly reiterate what we have learned as of now dual table is a special one column one row table with the default value x if i go ahead and describe dual table i will find that it has a dummy column of var char 2 type the dual table acts as a convenience table in order to retrieve the values of the pseudo columns so we saw the value of user who has logged in we saw the sys underscore guid function we saw the usage of dual table in our trigger and the second and the vital usage which not many people are aware of is generating test data using dual table connect by level and dbms underscore random package and guys i use this extensively and hopefully now that you know this you will go ahead and explore it a little more and start using to generate test data if you want to understand test data generation further i have explicitly made a tutorial on that i will go ahead and paste the link of that particular tutorial and you can go ahead and retrieve that hopefully by now it is clear what is dual table and what is its purpose in oracle if you still have any questions please go ahead and drop in comments and i will try to answer as soon as possible thanks a lot guys for your time tonight and i'll see you in the next one